recording? Everyone can hear me? Okay. So first off, I'm going to go through what my IPA list looks like, just so y'all can have an idea of what I have to look like or what I have to look at because I'm a squirrel on steroids. And so I just, if I don't have it written down, um, I'm not going to remember to do these IPAs and I don't do them every single day. I mix and match what I do when. So I'm going to go through it real quick. So first IPA is gratitude and self-development, which could be my Bible app this morning. It was listening to Joyce Meyer and just yelling amen around my RV, uh, books on leadership, faith or nutrition. So all of that goes into my self-development. I also, um, working out as a part of self-development for me as well. It's just a part of who I am and I have to start my morning with it because my biggest saying is eat the frog, do what you want to do least in the morning, get it out of the way. Otherwise it's draining your energy the rest of the day. So if there's anything you can just get done, um, although you should try to enjoy everything in life, obviously, but like some things I really don't, like I don't want to work out most days, but I just get it over with. And, um, now I'm hobbling around because my stupid dog like pulled my Achilles tendon. So next is posting the three steps in the stories. So teach, reach, intrigue. I don't remember who it was. I think it was like Ariel or someone that said that. So with my three steps, I did a ton of product posting yesterday. Um, I blew people up with the vitamins and I don't want to, oh, what's going on? Hold on. Somebody accidentally shared their screen and I still have not learned how to undo this. So okay. um, just keep talking and Shani, I think that's how you say it. If you can unshare your screen, that would be great. But keep going. You're fine. Alrighty. So today I posted my shake. Uh, because yesterday I did so much with the capsules that I was like, I need to give people a little bit of a break. So teach them about it, reach who you want to reach, intrigue them with how you change it up. Um, interact on Instagram and Facebook, birthdays, groups, that kind of stuff. So that's another one of my little highlights is to interact on Instagram and Facebook, do the birthdays and go to the groups. Um, and then my next one is make a post on your timeline go to hashtags and interact with those hashtags that commented or liked your photo. So, um, you know, once you make a post, go give those people love that are giving you love. My next IPA is unfollow or follow on Instagram. If it's a holiday, like M said, use the location because people are there and they're blowing up. They want to, you know, tell you where they are. Um, go live and IGTV. That's another one of my IPAs followed up with any potentials, customers, downline, or samples. So I have that as an IPA and those, I don't have to do those all at once. Um, obviously like today I have samples going out. So I'm going to follow up with those people, put them in my planner. And then I have some people on their day two of the products. So I'm going to follow up with them. Some of my team, the way that I follow up with my team sometimes doesn't have anything to do with the business. Sometimes I just follow up with how they're actually doing. Like M calls it a wellness check. It's like, hi, therapist M coming through. Like, how you doing? <laughs> and so I really do want to make sure my team's doing okay because this has been a strange time for everybody. That's another IPA that I have. Um, another check mark is make a poll or A, B, C, D question post where people can interact. And this does not have to be something with the business. It could be like today, I'm going to do very random polls. And it's going to be like those ones where it's, do you like, cookie dough or, or baked cookies, like, and people are going to click, you know, whichever one they like, because I did so much product stuff yesterday, I'm going to go to the other side and just do fun, random stuff today. Um, listen and apply one training video. So that's on one of my marks. Cause I believe in listening to a new training every single day. Um, I think you learn. And even if you've listened to it a couple times already, you will learn something every time you're going to learn something new. Every time you re listen to the videos that we have and then applying that training. So like on M's, I've listened to grow the network probably six times <laughs> because I just have to continually listen to that one. For some reason, I struggle with it. So um, apply and listen to one training. The next thing I have is show your ticker, your bonus or credits. So when you go into your cloud office, you can screenshot your ticker, you can do a cute pick with it, use the over app, um, use unfold. Those are really two good ones. 
and my credits, make sure, you know, if it's that time in the month that I'm going to show my credits and obviously always make it look attractive. And next one is prep or edit stories. So we talk about content and like tonight, I'm actually going somewhere. Um, one of my best friends is moving away. My old neighbor that you guys see me with all the time and her kids, I have to say bye to them tonight. So I know that that's going to be my picture for today. Like I'm going to, it's not going to be product or business wise today. I'm going to post about that, about, you know, our friendship and our journey. And it's going to be something totally personal today. Um, and so also I'm going to get ready. So I'm going to take some pictures because <laughs> this is what I look like every day and there's nothing. I look homeless most days. So prep and editing stories. I'm just going to edit some content tonight once I actually get ready. My next little ticker is for my day. Really big on making the days of the week something fun. So my Monday is Mindset Monday. I share something that has to do with mindset every single Monday to start people's days off right. Um, the next one is Tipful Tuesday. Tipful. It sounds like tipful every time. I'm so sorry. Um, tipful. Tuesday and I just give tips about the products, right? Because I have a ton of customers and promoters that look at my stuff. So I want to give them, um, I don't know, stuff about like how I make my shakes or I like telling them about the DFT and where I like putting it, or I like showing used and not used or residue or not residue and just letting them know this is how I get it off. And it kind of makes them feel as though something's not wrong <laughs> because people will find residue on those patches and think life is over. And I'm like, no, it's okay. It's literally just, it's normal. And so if I can put it on my stories and give them tips of how to, you know, I don't know. Does that make sense? Anyways, Wednesday is weight loss or weight gain. Wednesday, I like to just show pictures of weight loss or weight gain and how the products have helped people. Thursday, I'm starting a thirsty Thursday where I'm going to show them how I do certain like either blast or boost or lifestyle any of our powders is going to be my thirsty thursday and i'm going to start showing different ways to make them and then fun fact friday duh. everybody knows fun fact friday um when i don't do fun fact friday i'm not kidding people are in my inbox like are you okay and i'm like why and they're like you forgot your fun fact like you haven't put it up yet and i'm like oh sorry i'm my bad um and then saturday i do sample me saturday so I, you know, I've been leading up throughout the week and then I like to really post about the samples and stuff on Saturday. Um, okay. And then next is post my customer comments. So I have a highlight on my Instagram and I think if you guys don't have a highlight reel on your Instagram, you should, well, either you can ask about it or go look at ours. And it really just helps people when you're not even doing anything to go to your page and see you. It literally just paints them an entire picture. So on my highlight reel, I have reviews because there's nothing better than other people telling other people about the products. Like I can tell people all day long, I love it. And they're like, of course you do. You sell it. But when I show that my customers and my promoters are literally messaging me daily about how they feel, then people are like, wait, what am I missing out on? Like <laughs> I need this too. So I have that. Um, and then I have Wednesday night zoom and Thursday night opportunity. Can I invite anyone? So that's another check mark. And then I have a sample post and get samples in hand as a check mark because the products will speak for themselves. As long as I can figure out how to get this in people's bodies, it's going to run. Um, and then a giveaway is another IPA check mark that I have. And I'm going to put these in the chat, by the way, because this is a lot. I know I'm telling you a lot, but I will put it all right here. Um, and then doing a giveaway is fun, especially around the holidays. People love it. And you're welcome, babe. So... The next one I have is introduction for new faces, and this can be a whole slew of things. Like, you can make it more business related. I've made it just about me because I'm a very strange human and I just like to introduce people to myself. And I have a highlight on Instagram called me. So it's literally like, here's insight on Jordan, you know, good luck if you can keep up. And then that is another IPA. So I do unfold. And then the next one is look at my own content, keep it fresh and clean up thrivers and unwanted posts. So this one is huge. I don't look at my content every single day, but I do like to go back randomly and just see what people are seeing, see the vibe you're giving people, see what they, you know, from an outsider's perspective, sometimes we get sucked in and we get tunnel vision. So that's why I want to look at my own stuff 
and um, especially like cleaning up who I don't want to look at because now yeah every single day I rewatch my stories before I post because I'm like okay what's someone feeling as I walk them through like I realized how much I did the products yesterday and I was like oh <laughs> my dog need to be in it today which for the love of stuff that's happening I should be on a tv show anyways with these two dogs but it's just people want into your life and not just product based. So do that. And then my last one's show the F up. So show up. <laughs> and that is my entire IPA list. So let me put that in here right now as we're speaking. And then we'll go through everything. And like I said, today I'm going to do more stuff personal. Um, you guys can do whatever you need to do. So right now, as I'm speaking, make sure that your products are up. Make sure your self-development is done and make sure that you are, hang on, oh, it's, I just posted, oh my gosh, I just deleted all my IPAs. Why don't, why am I trying to do this? I can't do this together. I, I will post it in our chats. How about that? I just deleted all my IPAs that I just told y'all about. Hang on. Oh gosh. Oh no, it really did. What do I do? I, where did it go? <laughs> can you like tap was it on like a notepad on your phone can you yeah. tap the screen sometimes it lets you like cut it back in if that makes sense <laughs> You're right nope. pray for me all right that's just it's gone what i just told y'all is gone so i'm gonna read it later. <laughs> if you have it on the notes on your if you have like an iphone and you have it in the notes usually yeah. you can tap and it'll say recently deleted but I didn't delete it. I pasted a new thing. I accidentally put paste and like pasted an entire content that I was working on for a post. <laughs> oh, wow. Anyways, ignore me. Let's go through. So let's start right now. Make sure everything is on your stories that you want it to be. So pick from your fives as well. So let's do a product up. Let's pick from a five. So something personal that you want to put on there and then uh, go to birthdays after that. So I'm going to go on Facebook right now. I've already got my post up. I'm going to go tell people happy birthday. And I, some people I go on their story and some people that I know better, I go and do like a message. But I personally just sometimes I don't feel comfortable if I don't really know the person. I feel weird. Um, so I just do it on their, on their story. So I'm going to go through. And this, I don't know some of these people. So I'm going to go through and be like, do I want to be your friend? Like, why are we friends? Who are you? Do I need to go bye-bye with you? So just clean it up as you're going through. And then mute the Thrivers if there's Thriver birthdays. Um, just so that that's not all you're seeing. Because that was a, when I first started, all I saw was our leaders. And I was like, do I have any more friends? Like, where did everybody go? I couldn't see any of my other people that I was friends with ahead of time. So go through and do that. All right. So let's just stay on Facebook since we're on that platform anyways. And let's go to our, our stories and just interact on stories right now. And I'm going to time it out five minutes. And like we say, just be making actual comments. If you don't want to comment on something, don't. I've got a lot of people where I'm like, I could care less about your story. So I just truck on by. And those are also people that I want to know whether um, we should stay friends or not on Facebook.
And lately with all the politics and stuff going on, I honestly have muted so many people because I just don't want to see like my thing. I pray about everything. So I just, I can't stand to go on to my platform that I work on every day and be blown up with politics. So I have muted a lot of people and me personally, I don't really interact with that kind of stuff. By mute, you mean unfollow. Yeah, well, you can mute. So when you go to the stories, um, it's like I'm on stories, well, you can't see this, but there's three dots and you can mute a person. So like for Thrivers, I mute their stories um, if you're on the story. But if you go to their profile, it'll let you unfollow them. It's just quicker when you're on the stories to go click those three dots and click mute. All right, one more minute and then We'll continue. And with some sort, like, honestly, I'm not totally against people that sell other things. One, we've talked about it, like having grace with people. If they haven't blown me up about <clears throat> their own products, sometimes I do like to see how people post. I just like to see how different network marketers do their stories and what I find attractive and what gets my eye. It kind of helps me like freshen up my feed. So um, I'm not totally against it. I don't follow a bunch of people that are network marketers, but enough to you know, kind of enjoy what they do and see if I could change something to make it more attractive. But next, um, let's go into some groups. So pick, I don't, however many groups you want to do, but we'll do it for five minutes and just go interact. My groups that I'm specifically on, I've got, um, women helping other women and entrepreneurs. I'm a part of my best friend's color street. I've made some friends off there, like the nail stuff, um, be a light, and there's some home decorating stuff I'm on and, and then RV life because I'm now living in a 34 foot camper with three dogs and a caveman. So let's go interact on groups. <gasps> Hi, Glenn. Oh, I live right by the assistant manager. Hi guys.
Oh, and make sure to take a, a boomerang or a picture of the work with me Zoom as well. The community is the only reason I stayed when I wasn't like making paychecks. So I love showing that we actually have all of us. Y'all are really my friends. To be honest, I don't have many around here, but I like you guys. I like talking in our chats and stuff. So <laughs> it's just like a whole different breed of people that come on this team, I swear. It's an amazing culture. So just make sure to share that. All right, finish on up. Oh, no, this air conditioning is so loud. Hang on. All right, let's go to stories. Go to um, most recent on Facebook. So there are, if you're on your phone, there's three lines at the bottom. Click on it, go to most recent. I clean out a lot of salesy type of stuff here too. Thanks for the tip. And muting stories. Yeah, muting stories. I didn't know that either. So. That was something I found very helpful. All right, so going to most recent and let's go for five minutes and do some interactions. And like we've talked about before, uh, Facebook and Instagram wanna know that you're using what they have came out with. So that little hug, the little caring one I use for everything. It's the cutest thing in the whole entire world. I just, I feel like I'm hugging everybody that I'm liking their post for. So use that lots cause it likes that. And then what I'm doing also right now is I made a post yesterday. So I'm going to go to that post and I'm going to see who I can interact with that liked it or commented or stuff like that. So I'm going to what I posted yesterday and just going to do some interactions with the people that gave me some love. That was my stomach, if y'all just heard that. All right, let's finish up on Facebook. So we've done birthdays, we've done story interactions, we've got stuff on our stories, we've gone to groups, we have interacted with people that inter interacted with us, and we've gone to most recent. So just finish up on those.
All right, let's go on over to Instagram. So just finish up. And when I do stories on Instagram, so when I post like yesterday, um, don't forget that you can use hashtags and shrink them and the location and shrink them on your stories. I bring so many people to my stories just because I use, um, what's this hashtag expert and it doesn't do anything funky. Um, it actually tells me how many other influencers have used that hashtag and stuff like that. So on my stories on Instagram, I will go to say I'm making a blueberry shake or something like that, I will literally go to like protein shakes or I'll go to fitness or I'll go to, you know, something that has to do with holistic nutrition and I will shrink that hashtag and it gives me like, I don't know, 20 of them and I'll put it in the corner. So those people are still coming because my stuff is public. So I'm still bringing a lot of people to my stories and allowing them to kind of get a feel for everything. Um, and then locations as well. So let's go to other people's stories. So scroll to the back to so the people that you least interact with and just start interacting with them. And this is also where you can clean stuff up as well and just mute Thriver's posts and stories. And that's by going to their profile and just clicking mute. I'm really sorry, my stomach sounds like a monster is coming out of it, but I need to eat. And one thing that I wanted to tell y'all to um, just keep interacting as I'm talking, but I have noticed, this is going to sound crazy, with my filters on Instagram that I use for my stories, people are either attracted to it or they're not. So when I switched from dusty blue back in December, because it was Christmas time, and I switched to something that was darker and moodier, I noticed that my people didn't like my stories someone actually commented on it and they were like why are your pictures dark <laughs> <It's> like what <laughs> so they noticed that i switched the filter on my stories because they were used to something bright and like it attracted them to my stories so as stupid as that sounds those are the little things that you can strategically change to make sure that you're still bringing people with attraction marketing and i have noticed the difference with it because that is the easiest thing that I can tell you is sometimes those stupid little things are going to be the like the strategy behind it almost makes your job easier right because you're making it harder on yourself if you're not attracting people to your page so it's just one of those things to keep in mind and to keep a fresh look with and if you want someone to feel something like Christmas time I loved dusty blue it made me feel wintry and it made me feel like an ice queen my hair was platinum like it made my skin lighter. It just, it made sense. And then I changed to coconut and that's very summery. And my life is like, I live on the coast. So you can feel like the colors and stuff. And the preset that I do on my Instagram is mermaid tails. I got it from M. And if you go to my page, you feel my personality. Like, you know, it's bright, you know, it's very colorful. Like M loves black and white. I love all the colors of the rainbow. So you want people to feel you on your page. And so I took the time, um, I almost threw my phone because I was a cave woman and I didn't know how to do presets or anything like that. And it was a nightmare to 
for me to learn presets. It just was like to download it onto my phone and all that stuff, but it was worth the time. And now everything is cohesive and it looks nice. So um, anyways, let's finish up on stories. Go to, I like going, sometimes this is what I do. I go to my following and I do the least interacted with. And um, so if you guys go to the top, click following and then click least interacted with. Now I want you to really decide whether you want to follow these people still, or if you do want to still follow them, start interacting, kind of boost your face on their page again. And if it doesn't do anything and they don't really interact back, then I'm going to know in a couple days that, you know, we're just going to part ways. So I'm just going to interact with my least interacted with. And some people don't post on their Instagram, but they're watching your stories. And that's what I have realized is that I have a lot of people that maybe don't post that much, but they're still looking and they're still watching. Someone is always watching you. So please don't ever feel like it, you know, even if you hear crickets, it's not actually crickets. People are creeping, just letting you know. So let's go do that. Now I'm going to my post. So I did some of the people that are um, least interacted with. So I went and interacted with some of them. I'm going to go to my post yesterday that I made and I'm going to go interact with some people that are not thrivers that liked it. And yesterday I went to my hashtags that I put on my post and I just followed some people that had the same hashtags. Like we say, that's when it makes sense to actually follow those people because they'll see that, like I do a lot of holistic nutrition following and, you know, fitness and stuff like that. And it makes sense because they can go to it and be like, oh, she's into that stuff. She sells it, blah, blah, blah. So I went to the hashtags yesterday that I posted on my story, but today I'm going to the people that interacted with it.
and then so for some of a lot of you guys oh oh gosh i missed an entire thing just wanted to add that started turning on post notifications for the girls on our team if i have them on screen that way i can mute stories and post so that's not all i see but when they post on the oh yeah, yeah yeah that's christina that's awesome yes and um what i was gonna say is a lot of y'all asked me about my stories and you you know you say that you like my stories which is great and I want to tell you, I go look at a lot of different things. So I look at the Lavelle page to get some of the pictures. I think they do really well. So sometimes I use their stuff and I'll incorporate it. Um, it looks very clean, very professional. Sometimes I use my own pictures. Sometimes I go to Pinterest and I'm like, I want to take a selfie. How did, and I'll literally type in like <laughs> selfie. <laughs> to Pinterest and it'll give me a different angle that someone did or it'll give me portrait mode that they did and I'm like oh yeah that's super cool um so to keep it fresh I just I look at other people's stuff when I want to kind of make it feel a certain way and I don't spend my time like trying to copy anybody but I do I wouldn't come up with half the stuff by myself um so <laughs> that's one thing that I do to keep it fresh and um that's when I'll go interact with like some of our, our leaders too, is when I'll go look at their stuff. Cause otherwise I would sit and look all day and I just don't want to, that's not what we want to do. We want to make it our own thing. And so no, don't start, go back to bed. Um, I have devils, little spawns of Satan as fur babies. Um, what else was I going to say? Let's put up, if you do not have some kind of interaction on your story, let's put up some kind of poll. So whether it's with the products or whether it is with something very random, like, do you, I don't know, do you prefer tea or coffee? You know, just random, go put up a poll so that you can get some interaction. You can do A, B, C, or D as well for questions. Um, you can do a giveaway, a trivia. You can make it fun to get some samples in some hands. Um, go put up something like that right now. Like I said, I'm going to do more personal random stuff because I have a lot of product and business lately. So I'm just going to mix it up. And that's just because that's what I've been feeling. Like if I'm feeling it and I'm in my groove in my business, like my business is a part of me. So I don't feel bad if I make three in a row, but I do know that I need to give my audience a break the next day. Cause some days, I mean, I'm cooking with peanut oil and I'm just like, it's, it's thrive. And that's what they're going to see. And some days is a little bit quieter and they get in, you know, I moved and that was a big part. And I couldn't really work that much cause I was moving our entire house by myself. And so I just showed the move. So if you're in the middle of doing something and you're like, man, life is crazy, at least post your face and just let people know what's going on. They do appreciate the consistency so that you don't fall off the face of the earth and then try to sell a product. So that's what I did with our move. And Brielle and I are actually going to do a Zoom sometime this month on how to post when you feel like you don't have time. So we're, we're doing, we have content, I don't even know where it's at, I'm a hot mess, but we have an entire Zoom that we're going to do for you guys that's going to help you so that you can put stuff up like that and still continue to show up when you feel like you don't have time. Um, so let's see what else we got on here. Send in samples, blah, blah, blah. My notifications. So I do have, like, you know how those red buttons when you have a notification? I have all mine turned off. I have certain times during the day where I will come on my phone and rep it out and do a power hour but I cannot, um, I'm like, Em, I can't see that red button. I will click it. Like if I know there's a notification, I'm going to click it. And then I spend my day not productive, spend it literally on my phone the entire day. So I turn off all my notifications, um, besides my text messages. Those are the only things that I leave on. So Snapchat, TikTok, um, let's see, Facebook, uh, messenger, all that stuff is turned off. And then I go in and I do my power hour and that's just what I had to learn because I was all over the place. Um, I was literally on my phone like eight hours a day. It was not okay. And it was not productive by any stretch of the imagination. Um, so, okay, we did that. We're on Instagram, put up a poll and we shared this community. Um, 
what do we got left? Well, I would look at my IPA list if I still had it, but I think we're good. Did I forget anything? Let me see. Look at me. Oh, my daily, I have daily goals and weekly goals and monthly goals. So if you guys don't have those, I would dig into that. Um, and I would say tonight is an op event. So if you can think of at least one person, invite them to our, do we have one? I didn't even look. Do we have an op event? <laughs> Somebody tell me. I need to go look in our chat. Yes, maybe so. Anyways, if we have one, make sure to invite like one person that you've interacted with or if you've noticed someone creeping on you quite a bit. Like if I notice people are watching all the time, I'm like, hey, how's it going? Like I'll interact with them and I will just ask them how life is. And then they usually lead to like what, you know, they lead to asking me what I'm doing. But it first starts by me just noticing that they are popping up in all my stuff. And some people just, it takes them some more time. So that's another reason why consistency is so strong. I mean, it has to be because my sister is now starting the products and I've done this for 13 months. Okay. Took her 13 months. <laughs> and my mom won't even talk to me about the fact that she's on the products. Like she ordered the other day and I was like, well, you're taking them. Didn't even know you were taking the products. Like, so just know that people are watching. People do care. People do want your consistency. So you need to keep the fire going and that's by you finding ways to do the IPAs and strategically do them, right? Because I used to just go through my list and it was like mundane, go through the motions. But then I started getting strategic with my IPA list and I started tailoring it to what my audience was loving. And it has helped me so much, y'all. Like I'm about to hit 12K this month. I don't even know how. Like, what, what? Like, I could barely get 4K for 12 months. And now all of a sudden in month 13, I'm like about to hit 12K. It's crazy. But I have dedicated one hour a day to my work with me Zooms. Even if we don't have it, I do it. I will log on and I will do a work with me Zoom to make myself do a power hour. And I switch it up. Some IPAs I don't do anymore. Some I added in. Some I learned from other leaders, like blah, you know, just et cetera, et cetera. So all I can tell you is do that. Um, and that you're paint a picture strategically for your audience. You can make them feel stuff. You can make, thank you guys. You can make them feel what you want them to feel. Like people look to my stories for a hot mess express because they know that my family probably did something stupid and I'm going to have to tell a story about it. And it's not even fake. Like, I feel like a camera crew is just out here about to tell me being punked during this entire RV session. Like, they are just, <laughs> we're a mess. Uh, question. On Facebook, having a lot of random men adding me and then hopping on in the DMs, feel like I'm not having many people adding me for the right reasons. What does your... <laughs> What do your groups that you're in look like or the stuff that you like? Have you gone to, so let's go to Facebook real quick because I had this problem of like, also just so you know, sometimes when you friend request one person, and I'm not kidding, you'll friend request one person and like 10 people that they're friends with will add you and you're like, no, I didn't, I don't know who y'all are. Like Facebook is very spammy. Like when it comes to friend requests, it's crazy. One night I was not sober and I friend request so many people on Facebook, dumbest thing I've ever done in my life. Okay. Don't do that. So be very strategic with who you friend and who you're liking. So go to groups, make sure all your groups make sense. My groups are all empowering women, fitness, females. Okay. Do you have any, let me see. I'm trying to find where I had to go notifications news feed when you go to your news feed do you see like a bunch of salesy type of stuff do you see like what do you see break through your friends Michaela I know that might take a little bit but like you might need to just unfriend some people that you don't even know you're friends with like when I started I friend everybody I started friending anybody that was like, do you, you know, on Facebook that asked me to be their friend. And that was a really bad idea because I started getting spammy things. And 
very random people. So, um, I would say rake through your friend group and then, and I know that's going to take a little bit, but it's going to be worth it to clean that out. And that would be my best guess. Um, I'm sorry. I hope that was helpful. I don't know. Facebook wigs me out with friend requests. You're welcome. Um, I'm going to let y'all go, but I will figure out how I just deleted all my IPAs and I will put them in our group. Chat. I will put them in the IPA group chat. I'm so sorry. I'm like, I don't even know how I did it. I'm not, yes, I'm sending y'all. Okay. So y'all are asking for the IPAs. I will send them. I'm going to have to redo them. So that's it. And you can stop recording, but we're good to go. And that way, like I said, you guys can do the check marks on the IPAs. Um, I don't do all of them every day. Sometimes I can only get to a couple of them and that is what it is, but at least I showed up and at least I did one thing strategically on the backside of my business. So I love y'all and uh, that is it. Choo, 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 choo.